Halton police say they've dismantled a sophisticated auto theft ring responsible for millions of dollars worth of stolen vehicles in the GTA. Clara Pasekan joins us now from Halton Police Headquarters. So, Clara, what more can you tell us about that RV behind you and this investigation project Ninja overall? Dwight, so the reason this RV is parked behind me is because uh, Halton Police allege that a group... Uh, took this RV and what they would do is they would actually put stolen vehicles inside this RV, uh, getting creative in a way to transport them uh, to other parts of the country uh, undetected. So Halton police allege that a group comprised uh, primarily of Algerian nationals who uh, primarily lived in Quebec, uh, but uh, would rent short term rentals in different parts of the GTHA, would take the cars, uh, go up this ramp and they would put them there and then they would take them to the port of Montreal. Uh, and they would just look like they were just people uh, out enjoying the summer uh, in their RV, something that they were able to do uh, for some time in 2024 uh, undetected. Detective Phil Vandenbuchel was involved in the case and explains more. These individuals would frequently travel back and forth from Quebec to the GTA and often change locations of their short-term rentals. While in Ontario, this group targeted newer model high-end vehicles, primarily Toyota, Tundras, and Lexus RX 350 SUVs that were parked overnight in private driveways. To gain access to the vehicles, the group would damage the rear passenger windows and then reprogram blank key fobs to steal, to steal them. Through surveillance, the group was observed transporting the stolen vehicles to the Port of Montreal a number of different ways. Now, police allege that uh, the group stole more than 40 vehicles, only some of which have been uh, recovered. Detective Autumn Mills, who also worked on the case, said that the group worked very quickly to get them out of the country. We saw various uh, measures being taken here. We saw them drive, um, it, it's called hot loading, drive these vehicles onto shipping containers right after they're being stolen. And then those shipping containers make their way on the 401 to the port of Montreal within a span of, you know, six hours. Um, and then and then same thing here, you know, a vehicle can be stolen in the morning and uh, be on a shipping container at the port later that evening. Um, so unless something, there's a reason for CBSA to search that, that shipping container, it often makes its way uh, overseas and, and that can be in within a day. Now, these stolen vehicles were destined for destinations like Dubai and Morocco. Police say that four men have been arrested so far and four more are wanted on Canada-wide warrants. They're saying that the stolen vehicles amount to some $3 million and they suspect that there are even more vehicles uh, and they're working actively to continue this investigation. Now, what also came up uh, from Halton Police is the need for more tools and resources to deal with this group growing problem of auto theft. Now we know different levels of government have shone more of a spotlight on this issue. There was a summit dealing uh, with auto theft uh, earlier in the year, but they say that it's still not enough. Halton police saying they've diverted resources away from other areas to tackle this issue, which is increasingly becoming more prevalent and at times more dangerous. Yeah, very clever to use that RV behind you, but not clever enough not to get caught. Clara Pasika out at Halton headquarters. Thank you, Clara.